okay. is that uh, the prosecution rested today in the trial of former New England Patriots tight end Aaron Hernandez. Um, they called 131 witnesses. And wow. the yeah, 131 witnesses. Uh, they've got some procedural things to figure out tomorrow. Monday, the defense will probably call um, a day's worth of witnesses, and then it will be up to a jury to decide his fate. And this is uh, obviously being closely watched. Last week, Robert Kraft, the owner of the Patriots, said that Hernandez looked him dead in the eye and told him that he was innocent. So I'm curious. Well, um, how yeah. do you feel like this thing's going to shake I, out? I want to take this because I said to him earlier, and I'm glad this is on the list because I've been following this closely all along. I've, I've watched uh, fake interviews that they've done, full kind of courtroom drama. I have read testimony. Uh, I feel certain, beyond a doubt, beyond a reasonable doubt, that he's not going to be convicted of murder. Really? I think he's going to be convicted of being a co-conspirator. That he is, and in Boston law. Massachusetts law, if you are part of a murder, you. but the key to that is you have had to plan it. Now, have they proved enough that he planned it? If he came up, came with a gun, and he had called him up, and there were a lot of things indicated, but I don't think he will be convicted of first-degree murder. I think he will be convicted as a, a perpetrator involved in it because mm -hmm. he can't prove he actually pulled the trigger. Mm -hmm. No, there is a lot of circumstantial evidence in, in this case. So.